it's me and I'm back with another video. This one is going to be an eyebrow tutorial. So if you want to know how I fill in my brows, just keep on watching. I like to start off by defining the shape of my eyebrow with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Soft Brown. And to go along with it, I use the um, number seven brush that has a spoolie at the end and it has this really nice angle to it. It's really small so it lets you get up in there um, without hitting the brush against your mirror when you're, you know, doing them brows. I'm going to take um, just about that much and I take the top of the lid <laughs> or I take the lid, I should say, not the top of the lid. I take the lid and I just put it on there and I kind of use that as a little palette um, just to kind of control the product that I use um, on my actual brow. I don't go in heavy, I go in uh, with a fairly small amount of product to start and then I build it up as I go. So let's do this one, which you guys can have the best view to. So I like to start over here at the beginning of the brow and just go underneath it to define the shape at the bottom, just like that, ever so lightly. And then I'm going to feather upwards um, some of that product into the brow just to fill it in and then I like to go with the brush straight up and down and just kind of feather it in that way and again I'm not applying a lot of pressure this is super light and then I'm just gonna blend that all in together now the front of my brow, I like to keep it fairly light. Um, and then the tail end is where I like to um, make it darker. But we're gonna go in a little bit after this with some with another product. So this is just to kind of, you know, give it a base. So now I'm gonna go and do the same thing um, underneath the rest of the brow. So I'm just gonna follow the natural arch um, that I have in the shape of my, my eyebrow right now. I'm just going to keep following that along. And then once I get to the tail end, this is where I like to elongate, um, the shape of my eyebrow to fill in where I don't actually have any hairs. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep going here. And when I get to here, obviously I don't have any more hair, but I do like my eyebrow to extend a little bit longer. So I'm just going to give that extension as you see there. And don't worry, we are going to still go in and clean it up. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of my pomade. And now I'm going to do the top, right? Because I have the bottom pretty pretty good where I want it. So now we're gonna go at the top and I'm just going to start where, again, my natural, where I have the hairs um, growing. And I'm gonna keep going up. And now as I go up, this is where I'm gonna define um, the arch that I want to have. So I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go above where my hairline is and just create a more, um, a thicker eyebrow. And don't worry, I'm like all up in your business right now. It ain't, it, it, once it's done, it'll be, it'll be fine. Don't get scared, don't get scared. Okay, so we're just gonna keep doing that. I'm just gonna fill in some of the gaps here. And now to finish off um, the end of the eyebrow, I'm just going to take um, that edge where I created the arch and I'm just going to start bringing that down and connecting it to the bottom 
of the tail that I had originally created. So as you see here, and then I'm just gonna fill in and you know, continue, continue making that edge um, a little bit darker. And then I'm just going to go in with my spoolie. And that's the base. This is the shape that the eyebrow is going to have. Now I do like my eyebrows to be a little bit darker than this. So what I'll do after I have my shape with my dip brow done, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And this I'm using, in this I'm using the color dark brown, which I believe used to be brunette. So... I'm going to take this and then I'm going to do the same thing over again, just applying a little bit more pressure with this product than I was um, with the pomade. So again, I'm going to go underneath and I don't actually start from the base and on the front. Um, with this product, I start more towards the inner portion and I'm going to follow that shape. Now this is where, again, your shape is gonna be more defined with this product. I'm applying a little bit more pressure just to get make it a little bit darker because that's how I like my brows. If you don't like it, then you can apply less pressure or you can just use the pomade or you could just use the brow is whatever works for you. Um, this is what works for me. So I go in in the bottom and I outline that shape once more. And then I start doing it with the top as well. Sorry about that. You know, I have a little situation going on here. So I apologize for the sniffles. So again, going in, tracing, making that same outline, applying a little bit more pressure, connecting um, the outline to the bottom, the top to the bottom of the shape. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to fill in the brow. Again, applying a little bit more pressure. Once you do this, you'll be able to tell um, how much pressure you're going to need to apply for it to come out the way that you would like. So. I'm just going to feather in a little bit more color in the front portion just to kind of get a nice even look. Once you go through with the spoolie, everything gets nice and blended out and voila! There's the eyebrow done. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eyebrow off camera and then I'll come back and show you the finished look on both. But just um, doing a quick comparison, you can clearly see the difference. And now here we are with both eyebrows done. Now, a couple of things to remember, you can always clean up underneath if you've made any um, mistakes with some, uh, with some eyeshadow base. Um, I like to use the MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. Um, I will take some of this on a concealer brush and just go underneath and clean up and define um, that edge a little bit more and make it as crisp as I would like. So this always comes in handy um, to clean up your brows after you're done. And another thing to remember is that your eyebrows are sisters, not twins, so they do not have to be mirror images of each other. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like the video down below, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. To define the shape of how I want my eye... Blah, 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 blah. But first, I like to define the shape of the eyebrow with the Anastasia, 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 and I have a boogie. <clears throat> Not a boogie, but you know, I need to blow my nose. Now, here we are with both eyebrows done. Both, 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 both,